It was some interesting news that came out about a specific player that had uh, something to say about our Detroit Pistons. This guy is um, a very polarizing player. His name is Jalen Brown. You know, to give him respect, NBA champion, finals MVP, Jalen Brown, right? But he has something to say about our Detroit Pistons. So instead of me trying to explain it, let's just go ahead and play it. Finding different ways to lead also sometimes means that sacrifice where, you know, in a, a night we plan, don't mean to disrespect them, but the Detroit Pistons who have struggled over the last year or two, you know, we're going to play through Peyton, let him go for 30. We're going to play through Sam, let him shoot 10 threes tonight. We're going to still win the game. You know, it don't have to be the normal way, but that gives those guys confidence. It gives those guys ability um, to, to run free, and we're going to need that down the line. Okay, so who wants to go first? <laughs> I mean, I think I would be the lighter guy in this conversation, so let me go first. Okay. Listen, bro, when you have a, a record that bad, it's just giving. You know what I'm saying? I mean, what other team would he pick besides the Detroit Pistons to give an example like that? Wizards. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Hornets. the Wizards, if the Pistons were horrible, bro. We were horrible. You know what I'm saying? We were, I mean, we were the, the streak team. You know? So we at the yeah. bottom of the barrel why why else would you say anybody else but the pistons especially in the eastern conference in your conference you know what i'm saying so and he like i said he apologized i mean you know he apologized before he even said something bro bro hold on hold on hold on, it, hold on. It, it just is what it is bro we were bad no that part of it bro i'm not even mad about that part of it that's what you gotta expect you know when you have things like historic losing season attached to you that you gotta expect that right it comes with the territory it actually could have been worse it could have been a lot worse we could have caught a lot more flack this offseason and throughout the season than we actually did i'm not even mad about that part it's funny to me how people when they say no disrespect and then proceed to disrespect i can't stand it it's kind of like if anybody who's seen anchorman 2 if you see anchorman 2 when will ferrell said no offense but you're a stupid a-hole like bro like what do you mean you know what i'm saying so that's the thing for me it's Come on, bro. Just just say it. If you're going to say it, say it with your chest, bro. Listen, to me, I live by a different creed. There's no such thing as disrespect when you're telling the truth, bro. Period. He's Listen, telling the truth. Rather, bro, we're, we're Pistons fans. We're, on. we're one sided already. The I understand that. Is the truth, man. We were no. terrible, bro. Listen, he said we're going to let Sam Hauser and Peyton Pritchard get 30. That's not the truth. Who That's wasn't, disrespectful. Okay, who wasn't getting off against the Pistons? They weren't. I'm just saying, the, 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 <laughs> not them. I mean, if you want to, if you want to say respectable guys who are starters, but come on, Sam Hauser, bro, he's a three point specialist. Y'all don't. Picture you, not even get minutes. It, like, come with on. Those type of comments, you don't take offense to that because your team hears that. Your team needs to hear that. They I do. love that when 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 somebody says something like that about your team. You take that, you mark it on your calendar, and when you play them, you expect your team to stomp them in the dirt, man. Agreed. Yeah, I love it. I absolutely love it. But disrespectful is a stretch. Yeah, it, it, it hurts, but it's a stretch, bro. We it, just, was, that's it was the way he was saying it, though, bro. He was like, you know, we're going to let them get off. We're going to win anyway. Like, just, just the way he was saying it, bro. Like, he was he was trying to take a shot. He was literally trying to take a shot. He wasn't. It wasn't just like it was all facts. To me, it felt like more of an example. You know what I'm saying? It, I, I feel like that's why he apologized in the beginning, but he used our team as an example to to say, hey, not just per se, oh, the, the Pistons, since we're playing the Pistons, we're going to do this and that. He said he just selected a bad team off the top of his dome and used them as an example, which was the Pistons at the time. That's just what it is, man. I mean, you got, bro, we're Pistons fans. We automatically going to say, bro, oh, that's disrespectful. No, 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 no. Like Detroit, I said, Detroit, like I said, it's not even about the fact that he uses this as an example. I just don't like when people just don't say it with their chest, man. Like, no offense, but, and then just proceed because to give a whole paragraph like about something that, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. Like, just say it. But, he, but that's why. It's I, outspoken as he's been. You come on, man. You, you don't say it with your chest when you don't mean that. That's not what he, he used our team as a, an example. He's not. If you, he, bro, Jay, if you don't mean it, Jay, you don't need Jay to use Brown, a team as an example. Jay Brown. He, if you I don't mean, mean it, you don't need to relate. use any preface. Think about it. If you take Detroit out of out of your out of your mouth, not even trying to be like I'm angry because I'm not. You take Detroit out of your mouth, you don't need to say no offense. You could just say against a team, you know, that's not that's not great. That's not good. 
when you have to say when, oh, you're, okay. when you're trying to be disrespectful, that's what you do. When you're not trying to be disrespectful and use a team as an example, you do it the way he did it. It's no nice way to say it. There's it is no a nice, nice way, way to, to say, say it. it. It is oh. by not having it, by not using an example, bro. Our <laughs> team was trash. They're going to get used. You know how many years the Lions been trash and they've been used on TV? I it's understand not, that, bro. It's, it's like I true, said, it's, it's not a, it's not about the fact that he used our team. It's not about the fact that he used our team. I just felt like he was kind of trying to hide behind his own words. Bro, you know how many relationships he got on this Piston squad? Why would he do that to his people, bro? Then why even use the team? That's because the whole point. The worst. No, Dude, but that's, we were the worst. Then, but you can't have it both ways. You can't say we were the worst and that's why, but then say he got relationships and that's why he wouldn't. Come on. Man. It's got to be all or nothing. It's the example, it, either he got relationships that are great and because of that, he's not going to say no offense and he's not going to use that team. Like, don't even use the team if relationships mean that much to you. Man, y'all. Come on. So if, he, so if he said, so if he said we going to dog walk him and didn't say no offense, you would have been fine with it? Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, okay. Right. Because then, okay. then he's standing with his chest and he's actually, it's okay. like, okay, okay. And I then you like saying. write that down. But don't, come on, man. Like, don't, it's like you kind of try playing both sides of the fence here. It's like you're not, you're not trying to be responsible if it comes back to you. Well, I did say no offense. No, bro. You say it or don't say it. Come on, I man. I hear what you're saying. King's not wrong, though. I mean, it's low-hanging fruit, and when you set a record for the biggest losing streak in NBA history, you can only say so much to defend yourself. I will call cap on, we're going to play through Sam Hauser. Bro, the first game he played against Pistons, he had five points. I had Come to on, go do the research myself. Like, bro, you're not <laughs> playing through these guys. Let's let's call it. Let's, let's, let's relax a little bit. If you want to say we play through Porzingis, we give Drew Holiday some extra looks. Cool. We play through Sam Hauser. Yeah, that's what. I'll, come on, bro. Okay, all right, bro. So that's what I'll I'll call. I don't I, I don't like it because I'm a fan, but I understand the comparison. I understand why he used the Pistons for his statement. It's just wild using the guys who were probably the seventh or eighth best players on your team. For like, the come on, bro. That was okay. A little wild yeah. To me, but, okay. You know, I see what he's talking about. I, I see really King. Argue. I see your side too, bro. It just kind of rubbed me the wrong way, and maybe it's supposed to rub me the wrong way. And maybe it's justified. You know what I'm saying? Detroiting but, you, man. That's all it is. Like we take everything offensive in Detroit, bro. <laughs> I swear last year was hard, bro. It was tough last year. <laughs> yeah, we went too much. Now we got the just, after effects. It's not over yet. But like y'all said, I'm, I'm. I hope they got this marked on their calendar. Yeah, I hope they put <laughs> those players in and think they're gonna get thirty. Yeah, I love yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. love that mentality because that's a that's a uh, idiot's mentality. I love that mentality. This is the yeah. NBA teams really can turn things around that fast, right? Uh, so you know, y'all barely won the championship. That poverty championship, y'all won. Fine, whatever. <laughs> I, I love the strategy, Jalen. I I wish y'all would. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I was trying to say was what Derek was saying. But like I said, I see both sides. You know, even Peter Froggy this year, he was talking about uh, uh, Bronny during the summer league when he was with Angel Reese, saying he not an NBA player. Now he yeah, again, again. again. That's what I mean. Again. That's what I mean, bro. The like, truth is the truth. But, but Bronny but is, he never was an NBA player. Bro, we all know that. He never, you notice he never said it in front of a microphone, though? That's what I'm saying. Because, it's like, I it's mean, just why would he do that? the entire world going to cry. Everybody pats LeBron's butt. So, why would he oh, do we that? Okay, you know what? This is a slippery slope. Now nah, we get to Brian. We, <laughs> we are not going to finish this show. We start you talking about Brian. son trash, man. You know he's trash. No, his, his, his son is, is not an NBA player right now. Straight up. He's not. And you know how I feel about Brian, but he's not. I don't know if, he, if he's going to be. I think he could be, possibly, role player, but... I don't see him being what most people want him to be. I just don't see it. His peak is Tony Allen. That's that's what I, yeah, that's what I see for him. That's no Tony Allen. Tony Allen was yeah. a defensive player of the yeah. year candidate a yeah. few years. Right. Right. Yeah, all team defensive. Yeah, for sure. True. His shot is much better than Tony Allen's though. That form, that trash form that Tony Allen had, looked like Michael Kidd Gilchrist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on my way up and I'm not gonna stop. We headed straight to the top. I got a face I got no time to wait.